Nusa Penida is 45 minutes away from Bali with a small boat and it preserves the most beautiful beaches around Indonesia. And in this video we are going to unfold the top 7 once in a lifetime places. And I'm sure you're going to be surprised by the 6th one because not a lot of people knows about it. If you're new on my channel, welcome! My name is Sarah and I talk about Bali life and content creator lifestyle. And if you can hear today my nose is stuck and I just washed my hair so I was like yeah. It's a good time for recording, right? But without further ado, let's start! The first place deserves to be seen in Nusa Penida is the tree house. The tree house is a super Instagrammable spot that lives by the high, but honestly it's for a good reason. The tree house faces the best breathtaking view over Diamond Beach and the massive limestone cliff, palm trees and turquoise water crashing on the white sand beach. The second spot you absolutely need to visit is Diamond Beach. Diamond Beach is close to the tree house, but you still need a transportation to reach it. You can grab a scooter maybe if you want to travel the island with a scooter, or you can even rent a guide. I suggest you to go with Maddie, which I will leave the number here behind. He take care of me and my friends for 5 days through Nusa Penida and I can't recommend it more. The hike is about 10 minutes long down to Diamond Beach and uh, you will walk on clear limestone stairs. The view is simply magical and often a nice ocean breeze is blowing, keeping you cool during the hottest days. The third place you can't miss is Angel Billabong. This colorful natural infinity pool is a must-see in Nusa Penida. Based between rocky black cliffs and surrounded by a walking path, Angel Billabong is famous for its cemented seascapes. For the most adventurous one, it's possible to swim into this infinity pool, but it's extremely dangerous. Not only the rocks is sharp, so that kind of hurts your feet when you're walking on it, but the ocean crash and predictable waves that suck the water out of the pool, and if you are inside in that moment, you risk to end up in the clear ocean. It's not uncommon that tourists get seriously hurt here, so take this in consideration when visiting Angel Billabong. The fourth place you have to visit absolutely is Broken Beach, and it's only 5 minutes away by walk from Angel Billabong. If you have a drone, this is the perfect spot to let him fly and take some great footage. You can walk around the big hole and admire the incredible landscape made of lush green nature and intense blue water. If you are hungry or thirsty at that point, you can just walk around the area and you will find so many varung, which are local restaurants, where you can stop and grab some coconut or nasi goreng. The fifth place you absolutely need to visit is Kelly... Kel... Keling... Is Keling... Beach. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is probably one of the most famous and challenging spots of Nusa Penida. This cliff is around 150 meters and the path to reach the beach is pretty sketchy after halfway. Honestly, I haven't been able to reach halfway myself. The heat is often unbearable and locals cover their head with bushes and wet clothes, which is definitely a great idea. If you are looking for a walk down, carry with you a lot of water and sunscreen. Avoid the peak hours of the day and take your time to both way up and down. I would say that Nusa Penida is the place you want to go when you want to experience those breathtaking views on incredible majestic cliffs on the ocean. But if you want to experience more about the green side of Bali, make sure to watch this video which is about 9 places everybody should visit in the heart of Bali. <coughs> Never drive a scooter when it's raining. The sixth place you absolutely need to visit is Tembling Beach plus the secret spot. This is probably the less touristy and most hidden place in Nusa Penida. In order to reach it, you have to ask one of the locals on the street to drive you down with the scooter. I honestly don't know how they can drive down the street, but you know, locals can do it. It's a sketchy 5 minute drive to the parking and then other 5 minutes hike down to reach this astonishing crystal natural pool surrounded by the jungle facing the wild ocean. But this beauty doesn't come alone and I also find the most majestic beach I've ever seen in my life. By walking under the cave filled with balancing stone, you will reach this small beach with a swing and a huge tree. It's amazing how small this location makes you feel. Tumbling beach and this secret spot was definitely the highlight of my travel to Nusa Penida. And the seventh spot you absolutely need to visit is Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Chenigan. These two small islands are 5 minutes away with a small boat from Nusa Penida and they should be part of your Nusa Penida trip. This is one day trip that should include Crystal Bay and his Gatorade-ish color water, the mysterious mangrove forest that you can rent a boat and just go through them, and the famous yellow bridge that connect Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Tseningan. If you're looking for a place to stay, you absolutely must go to Putra Bali Villa. It's a perfect place for solo travel, for couple and family. Putra Villa is incredible, extremely clean with a huge pool in the middle of the palm tree and surrounded by a lot of flower and nature. These were the 7 gems in Nusa Penida that everybody should see at least once in a lifetime and I can't recommend it more. Nusa Penida really 
I underestimate you, but thank you for showing me all your gems. And I think that three days are totally enough for this tour. Thumbs up if you like this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more bad life and content creation lifestyle. Also, turn on the notification bell so don't miss any Sunday release. See you next Sunday.